Lenovo. I don't think we've talked about Lenovo on the podcast before. I I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, they've okay. released some glasses called the T1 glasses. Um, Ooh. Which is basically just putting a full HD OLED screen in front of both of your eyes. Um, essentially oh. just giving you a bigger monitor versus what mm. you have. Um, it's a uh, USB-C as most things are now. Uh, there's a couple other similar products. I didn't look into the like specs of the other ones too specifically, but uh, there's the TCL Nextware and the Nreal Air, um, which are yeah pretty similar from what I read. Uh, so it's not going to have any VR or AR experience. So you, like you can't really be walking around with these because they're going to obstruct your vision. It's going to take up a huge chunk of your vision. Um, right. And there's also a cable that keeps it plugged to the source. Um, okay. They just describe it as uh, making these screens feel like huge like movie theater screens. Oh. Uh, yeah. So basically if you have any, if you have like a small laptop or even a phone and you wanted to see something bigger, you could put these on and plug it in. Boom. And then you have it nice and huge, uh, which I Damn. think could be pretty useful for like editing and yeah, like 3d modeling any sort of like digital art i think it would be quite helpful because i mean you you know the bigger the more detail you'll see um right and then you might notice some imperfections or something that you might not have on a smaller screen Mm -hmm. um can also be useful for anyone who likes to play mobile games because you'll just have a giant yes yeah yeah i I was even thinking i was gonna say for students but like the mobile gaming and students yeah yeah those two that that's that's a good combo yeah yeah it's a pretty uh pretty cool set of glasses Mm -hmm. um so it connects to pcs tablets smartphones macs and other devices through usb-c um, it does say if you want to use it with iOS, you need Lenovo's HDMI adapter. Um, not for long. Yeah. <laughs> ne- wait for next year's iPhone. <laughs> yeah, but this was weird. It said that. And then it said you also need Apple's digital AV adapter due to the lightning port, which makes it sound like you need it. Even if you're using an iPad with the USB-C, the Lenovo one, at least. Right. Just for iOS is what it sounds like. I might be misunderstanding that, but I think that's how it works. But yeah. if I'm wrong, okay. it sounds just sound, sound, sounds reasonable. Yeah. But two adapters, that's just rough if you're using it yeah. with the iPhone. Yeah. Um, it also said it works with Motorola's secondary ready for interface. Um, which lets you use apps in a desktop style. Okay. Uh, which is pretty cool. Pretty nice. Um, I had not heard of that before the, the Mm -mm. Motorola interface. Um, it also comes with multiple nose pads, uh, for comfort. Although I hate nose pads. My glasses (laughs) suck that have nose pads, but Uh for some people, maybe, um, (laughs) Uh, and it also comes with a prescription frame if needed, which is nice. Oh, for me? Yeah, for those people with glasses. Well, for me too. I just don't wear mine. Yeah. I can see <laughs> enough. You know what? If it's that big, I don't need my glasses. Yeah, true. Right? Uh, it's battery powered, but it can pull power from capable devices, which okay, is nice. So it's like... Surely your MacBook. Yeah, I would imagine. Any laptop, really. Or any, yeah. If you had a desktop, yeah. then definitely you're good. Yeah. Uh, although you might not need it with a desktop as much. But mm-hmm. again, 
you could still use it. Um, what was I going to say? Totally just lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, we don't know how long the battery is going to last. I couldn't find that. I Googled right. it, didn't see it. It wasn't in the article. So we don't know that yet. I mean, yeah, again, I was going to ask that. At least it, it is able to pull power from some devices. But if you're using it like with your iPhone, I don't, I don't know how long it'll last at this moment. Um, it also comes with built-in speakers, which Ooh. certainly doesn't hurt. Um, yeah, I don't know how, how good this, the speakers will sound. Uh, again, we don't have, we have, we don't have any, uh, audio from it, but we will see cause they're still uh, relatively new. Um, and as for when it will be released, it was saying 2023 is what they're aiming for, for select markets. It's going to be released okay. in the Chinese market first. It said late 2022 and select markets in 2023. Hopefully mm -hmm. that's somewhere over here. Um, yeah. And pricing. Unfortunately, no pricing has been released yet. Oh man. So that's a little gray area. And I honestly yeah. have no clue what these are going to cost. Um Yeah. I feel like probably expensive, I'd imagine. Yes. That sounds about right. Yeah. But uh we'll have to see. I'll definitely uh have to bring that up whenever whenever we find out. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but that's about all the specs on it that uh, that have been released for now. And uh, we'll just see. We'll see uh, what updates they come out with uh, along the way.